Hi there, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel, and thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for the week of December 17th to the 23rd of 2018. This is a general reading, so please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and comment as it helps pull your energies into the future readings. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading, I've included a take note moment. I hope you stay tuned in for that. Okay, so off camera, Scorpio. I have done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere of the week. It's the background. It's the basis of the matter. The Two of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy. This is skillful manipulation. You're juggling situations, most likely financial. You're handling the ups and downs of life. The Two of Pentacles. And you do have the ability to juggle these two situations. There's going to be harmony in the midst of change. This is good fortune and enjoyed times and sometimes enforce gaiety. But better times do lie ahead. You need to adapt to these changes and keep your good sense of humor. You'll be managing priorities, sometimes moving. It can be keeping busy. You may need to travel or move house to take advantage of material opportunities. There could be some new facts and results coming to the foreground. And you're going to be presented with a new perspective. You may need to cast off old habits. But a change that is coming, it is a favorable situation that has to do with money. You're going to find new results. When life undergoes changes, it is normal to have some insecurity and temporary upsets or ups and downs. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. The Three of Wands, this is fire energy. Waiting for your ships to come in. And they're coming. The Three of Wands. This is a realization of hope. It's something that you've been building. It's been something that you've already been working on, some kind of established pattern. Sometimes this indicates foreign travel. But as long as you act mature and responsible, others are going to respond to you in a positive way. So use a confident attitude. They're things that are set into motion. And this is the foresight and the long-term plans with no turning back now. It is a bright future I've had. This is the card that says you're expanding your horizons. And you'll be sorting out what you want to achieve and what others are expecting of you. And where you're headed and where your actions are going to bring about. This is planning and action, and some more thinking. Your third card, and this is how it affects you, it's your attitude. The Four of Cups, some more thinking. This is water energy. This is an offer. This is, your thinking, I don't have time for this new offer right now, it's something that You think you just have to do the other things you have on your plate. But you don't realize that this is a gift from the universe. And it will bring you joy. You just have to accept the cup. Maybe you're just resting and delaying a decision. But it's okay to contemplate and drift and dream before you get back to your daily grind might be feeling a little discontent, you know, taking some time out to think and meditate. 
But if you do think with apathy, then that's the answers will be blocked from you. So watch for signs and synchronicities. Do not rush yourself. And look for ways to move forward. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The five of wands, this is fire energy. This is competition in social or career areas. Sometimes represents family rivalries. The five of wands. They're building something, and with that comes tests and unrest. It's competing forces without a clear winner just as yet. It is a new rush of energy. So try not to indulge in petty hassles and annoyances because there may be some problems to solve, maybe some clashing of personalities, but these differences of opinion should be examined because it is from them that new ideas and interesting compromises emerge. But these new factors, they demand that you change and adapt and grow and put in a little more effort to keep what you've already gained. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ten of Wands, fire energy. You're feeling burdened, overloaded. You feel like you, you've come so far already. The Ten of Wands. These burdens life burdens, they, this responsibility, it kind of wears you down. So you need to make sure others are doing their fair share. But this burden is soon to be lifted. Your difficulties are almost over. So don't give up. It's a new cycle beginning now. So persist in your goals and tough it out. And keep going because you've come too far to let things drop now. Perhaps it would help you to delegate some responsibility. Thanks, you guys. Please stay tuned in and leave me a comment. So take note. This is key. When you find yourself that you're asking questions about life, that is a sign you're having a major breakthrough. Whenever we ask questions, you know, the deep wanting to know answers, we then attract the answers in a very simple way that we can understand. The truth of, of life is written on the ethers, the Akashic records. For us to receive answers in life, we must first begin to ask. What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light. Thanks for watching my videos.